today i'm going to show you how to use pinterest for free traffic i'm going to show you the correct way to use pinterest.com to promote any product affiliate product your products driving traffic to your website whatever it may be this method works because i've been able to generate over 200 dollars a day using free traffic not only from pinterest but a combination of multiple free traffic websites okay but in this video i'm going to be focusing alone on pinterest because this is where you're going to get the most of your traffic if you're new here welcome my name is robert i do videos on affiliate marketing and generally making money online videos so be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you don't miss any of my video uploads so the first step that you are going to do is to look for highly searched keywords on your niche okay now when it comes to keywords and searching there's usually two that are mainly used there is a transactional keyword and there is the informational keyword okay now you want to look for transactional keywords the transactional keywords are the ones that begin with best okay so something like best camera best laptop best bluetooth speakers those are usually keywords that people who have an intention of buying usually go to look for they just want to get that extra confirmation before they make that final decision okay they usually have the money ready and informational keywords are keywords whereby people are just generally looking for information not really necessarily trying to buy okay this is one that is a common one so what you really want to do here is to look for the transactional keywords okay the one that begins with best so we're going to be using this tool okay google has their own tool called keyword planner okay you just go to google and type keyword planner okay you're going to open the first one right here which will take you to this page okay so you are then going to click on discover new keywords all right here is where you're going to enter the keywords that you want to get information for all right but first you're going to change your country location usually by default it's your country so if you're not in the united states you might want to change this to the united states because you want to be targeting the united states okay that's where you'll get people who actually want to buy your product so just to show you how it works you just select your country there and then you're going to remove your country by clicking on x and then you're going to enter your location here so you just enter us or uk or canada whatever country it is that you want to, you want to target and then select target right there all right once you've done that you're going to click on save here okay so here's where you're going to enter a keyword you're going to start with best all right so best now best usually works with things like gadgets uh gadgets or software those are the ones that tend to have a high keyword search when it comes to best so something like best earphones best laptops best tvs so for example i can type here best headphones and then i'll just click on enter and click on get results all right now as you can see down here we have our data we have the keyword by relevance so these are the keywords and then here we have the average monthly searches and then here we have competition so this two is what you want to pay attention the average monthly searches and competition so first we have best headphones okay best headphones average uh, average monthly searches is 10k to 100k but the competition is high so what you really want to look at is the average monthly searches and competition you want something that has a high average monthly search with high competition okay here you can see uh, noise cancelling headphones is 100k to 1m competition is high best wireless earbuds 10k 100k competition is high okay so from what you can see here this has the highest number because it has up to 1 million searches so this not only tell you that this search is high on google but in general people are highly searching for noise cancelling headphones okay so what you want to do next is to look for an affiliate program that has noise cancelling headphones okay this one you can easily find it on amazon okay the good thing is that amazon also have their own affiliate program it's called amazon associates so what you're going to do you're going to come over to amazon associates just go to google and search amazon associates or just type amazon-program.amazon.com which will take you to this page so here's where you can sign up you're going to create your account the good thing is that amazon accepts people from any country so long as you have a social media account okay because if you don't have a website you need to have at least a social media account all right so once you have that you can sign up once they accept you you can now be able to promote any product here on amazon all right so now you can come to amazon okay here's where you can find your products so we're going to search for best best noise cancelling headphones so here you're going to find a list of all the noise cancelling headphones that they have on amazon okay 
Now, once you've been signed up to Amazon Associates, you are going to get this stripe at the top over here. Okay, this is called Amazon Associates Site Stripe. This is going to allow you to get the affiliate product of the product that you want to promote. Okay, so to get the product for this one, for example, you can just come up over here, click on text, and it's going to drop down your affiliate link. Okay, this right here is your affiliate link to this product. Okay, now what I would recommend you do. Uh, I would recommend you promote the cheaper product. These ones that have a high price range, like for example, 231, they are very good quality, but they don't tend to sell a lot, okay? Especially if you're using free traffic. So you want something that's at least 30 to $70 range, okay? So what we're going to do next, we want to create a video, okay? We want to create a short form video or a vertical video to be able to promote our noise canceling headphones, okay? Now we're going to be using Canva, canva.com. And what we want here is mobile video, okay? We're going to be using videos to create our Pinterest pins, okay? Videos are the best ways to promote any product. You are guaranteed to get more views than still images, okay? So once you're here on Canva, just select my mobile video. Now what we're going to do, we're going to create a very simple video, okay? It doesn't have to be like a full-blown motion video. We're just going to create slideshows of the products that we want to promote, okay? So we're going to come back over to Amazon. And we're going to start looking for the products that we want to promote again. We want something that's cheaper. We're going to start with the Soundcore Anchor Life. This is the Q20. So we're going to open this. Okay. And then you're going to open the image again. And then now you're going to save the image. Just right click and save the image. Now we're going to come back to Canva. And we're going to drag that image that we just downloaded up over here. All right. So just like this. Maybe you can make it bigger if you want. Actually, you want to drag this up over here. You just bring it at the top there. And then here's where you're going to have information about the product, the name and the uh, information about the product. So just come back over here to Amazon. You can just copy this. You okay, just copy all this. Okay, you don't want to copy too much because the space that we have on Canva um, is not so big. So we're going to grab text over here. All right, you're going to use any of these. You can just use any that you want. I'm just going to uh, go with this one here. Okay, let me just make this a little bigger. And then now I'm going to paste the text right there. Okay, I'm going to just, just arrange this. Okay, make sure it fits. Uh, just play around with this. Okay, just make sure it fits well and everything is showing. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to separate the name of the product from the description. Okay, I'm going to give it a separate text box. I'm just going to duplicate this. And then I just paste the name right there and then now i can make this bolder okay just to make it stand out all right so here we have the description of the product now you can also play around uh play around with this you can make it align to the left or to the center I'm just going to leave it the way it was so this is the first slide okay we're done with the first slide and as you can see here we, uh, it shows you the duration okay so it's 50 seconds you can go ahead and play it all right so it depends on how long you want it. If you want it five seconds, if you want it less, you can go ahead and also reduce. You can reduce it by just moving this. As you can see, the duration reduces and it increases whenever I move this around. Okay, I'm just going to leave it at five seconds so that they can have more time to read, you know, the information here. Now you're going to add another slide. Okay, just add another page. Then we're going to have our next product over here. Again, come back to Amazon and let's look for another headphone noise cancelling headphones okay we have this one here so you just select the image just like that open the image again you save the image all right come back to canva you add your image just like that okay just going to repeat the same process okay let's grab our text over here copy that come back okay grab our text and then we paste it there now I'm going to separate the name and make it bold. So just like that, okay? So we're pretty much going to do this for the rest of our headphones. You can just come back over here to Amazon. Just repeat the same process. You can get maybe five, five to ten headphones. will be okay. I'm going to do up to five. So I'm going to just speed this up. All right, so I'm done entering five headphones. So another thing that you want to do before you save the video, you want to add some type of animation. As you can see, if you play the video, it's not really motion. There's not really much of motion or animation that's going on. As you can see, they're very still. So you want to do some kind of animation. So you can select like the first one here and then click on animate. 
and then as you can see over here there are different types of animations okay so every time you hover you can see what happens to the image okay so you can just go ahead and select whatever it is that you want or whatever type of animation okay there's so many of them here i'm just going to go with this one here the party okay and you can do that for the rest of um, the other slides okay just select the image or the slide and then select your animation so i'm going to go with party for all of them and then we're also going to add our call to action slide okay call to actions are very important so basically what call to action is a type of text prompting the viewers to take some action like maybe click the link in the bio or click the video to see more something like that now we're going to be using this on pinterest and with pinterest when you click the video it's going to take you to the product page okay for example if you come over here to pinterest and open this uh, video for example as you can see when i click on that video it takes me to the uh, video itself where it has more information about the video they're going to see the title you know the description over here and more information basically for the video okay so we're going to come back here and uh, we're going to add a call to action click on add page and we're basically just going to tell them to click video to see more i'm going to click on text okay and i can go with any of this let me go with this one here okay and then i'm just going to highlight and say click video to see more or click video for more info okay i think i'm just going to leave it like this now you can go ahead and also change this if you don't want uh, the glow effect you can just go over here to glow maybe if you want none they have different effects over here you can go ahead and play around and see whatever it is that you want okay and also change the color all right now you can also add an animation for this but it already picked i think it already picked the animation from the other so if you want to change it you can go ahead and do the same all right now as you can see at the top over here our total video duration is 30 seconds okay if you feel this is too short you can go ahead and add more products add more slides which is even better because you're going to have you're going to give your viewers a wider variety of products to select now one more last thing you want to do is to add some background music okay now you can use their own background music here okay canva has their own background music and can go over to audio but they have very limited free versions okay most of them are paid as you can see most of these are paid if i click on see all for recently this is what they give you for the free version okay they only give you free but if you want a wider variety if you want more audios you can get them from youtube okay youtube has their own different own library collection just go over to google then just search youtube library then click on the first one over here here is where you can get a wide variety of music selection okay you can use any of these for background music they have all kinds of genres if you click on this uh, sort over here or filter you can uh, filter you know by genre mood artist name duration they have all kinds of here. all of these are copyright free you can use them anywhere so for example if you want to download this one here, you can just select download okay once you've downloaded it you can come back over here okay now to use your audio just come back over here go to your downloads you drag it up over here and then now you can drag it down over here okay so just like that so that is how you can add audio and we're pretty much done now with our video okay so you can go ahead and click on share all right click on download and then just download your video now the next step to do is to actually have an article we're going to have an article where they can have more information to read about these noise cancelling headphones okay we're also going to be able to include our affiliate links for each of them okay that's why it's important to have a document okay a subtype of a document so you're just going to go over here to google you're going to open google docs you can just open it from here click on docs and create a new doc and then here is where we're going to actually enter our products so we're going to start with our first image let's come back over here okay we had our first one which is this just bring it up over here okay, you can now reduce the size of this okay just reduce the size just like that okay now you want to add text you want to add uh, information about this product let's come back to amazon okay so you basically just want to get information about each and every one of these headphones so we had the first one was sound core anchor okay we want to copy all of this okay you want to copy all of this so just copy that come back over here you paste your information right there okay you also want to, you can even get more information they have more information over here on amazon if you just select this 
and then scroll down over here you can see further information so it's going to show you the brand all of this you can add all this information onto your document okay so let's just do something like this you can copy all this you can go ahead and copy the rest of these as well okay but i'm just going to you know just copy it up till there copy that then come back over here okay add some space and now we're going to add the affiliate link of our product let's come back over here to amazon so once you've already signed up like i said you're going to get this site strip or site stripe then click on text uh, get your link just copy your link right there come back to your document now you can add another text over here like the name of the product for example sound core anchor light actually it's anchor life and then now you can highlight this okay and then you click this link over here and then you paste your affiliate link and click on apply all right or another way that you can do it you can just highlight this whole text okay you can highlight the, the whole of this remove the link first because this uh, came with the link and then now you're going to include your link your affiliate link you paste it right there and click on apply all right now you can go ahead and change this color if you don't want this color if you want to remove the underline you can go ahead and do that okay let me just give it a green so this is how you can add your products to your google document now i'm going to do the same for the rest all right so once you've entered all your products all your headphones you are now ready to go just make sure you include your title over here okay like five best noise cancelling headphones and then now what you're going to do you're going to click on share right you're going to click on copy link all right then you're going to click on restricted over here and you want to allow anyone with the link okay this is going to allow anyone with the link to access this document okay now you can copy the link click on done so our next step is to upload it to pinterest we're going to head back to pinterest now to be able to upload videos on pinterest there are specific countries that you can only do that okay mainly the first world countries okay you can actually upload from first world uh, third world countries will be a problem so in order to do that you're going to have to make some changes in your settings okay change your location to either united states canada or australia so what you'll do you're going to click on this drop down over here and click on settings and then down here you're going to scroll all the way to country okay you're going to click on this drop down you are then going to select australia okay since it's the first one that appears here just select australia okay then you'll be able to upload videos okay so once you're done click on this create over here click on create pin and then here's where you're going to upload your video so just either drag it or just click on that drag and drop i'm just going to drag and drop over here just like this so as you can see on your left hand side here it says 30 days until expiration so videos expire in 30 days another thing that you can do you can also edit your cover you can click on edit cover over here this is a great feature about pinterest so you can select whatever cover from your video you just just do this okay just find whatever cover it is that you would like to add okay i think i'm going to go with this one and then i'll click on done okay and then now here you're going to add your title okay so you can just enter the same title that you have over here from your document i'm just going to copy this come back to pinterest and then i just paste it right there here we have our description so here description is basically just what it is just talk about uh, the product so for example you can say these are the five best noise cancelling headphones maybe below a uh, hundred dollars or something like that and then here you have your link here's where you can add the link from your document this link over here okay let's come again and copy our link just like that make sure it's in on with the link come back over to pinterest paste your link right there all right now as you can see it's very long it's uh, actually very ugly so another thing that you can do you can shorten this link you can just shorten with any link shortener i'm going to use tinyurl you can use tinyurl you can use bitly you can use cutly there are lots of other link shorteners so i'm just going to paste the link right here paste it right there here i'm going to enter the alias of the link so it's going to be tinyurl.com slash whatever enter here i can say noise cancelling headphones shorten all right so i'm going to copy this come back over here to pinterest now i'm going to replace that link okay just like that here you have your board now you can create a board so if you need to pinterest boards are basically like categories okay so for example um, i have an account on electronics this is now going to be on headphones okay if my account is going to be based on like on electronics i can have a, a board for headphones okay so i can create a board over here i can say headphones and maybe noise cancelling headphones and click on create and then down here you have tags so here you can enter the tags related to your video uh, let me see if they have headphones here okay yes they have headphones 
Okay, so they are basically like tags. You can add more uh, tags over here related to headphones. Once you're done, you can just head up over here and click on publish. And there we go. So your pin has been published. You can click on view. And there you go. So this is how pretty much your video will look like. Not bad. And this is how you can actually create a video for your Pinterest pin for your product. Here you have the link. Here you're going to see stats of your uh, video. You're going to have impressions, pin clicks, and saves. And down here you will see your comments. Okay, so if they click on this tiny URL, it should direct them to our document. Okay, where we have our products, the links to our products. And if they click on any of them, for example, this one here, they're going to see an Amazon link, which they'll click on that, which will direct them to the product. So this is it. This is pretty much how you can promote with Pinterest using videos and using google documents okay this is a very powerful strategy you can use it with other products all kinds of products not only electronics it's a very very effective method this is how you can easily make 200 dollars a day in affiliate marketing okay so just to recap first you go over to google ads to find keywords highly searched keywords once you find the keywords that you want to use you can go over to amazon find the products that you want to promote Make sure they're products that are not really expensive, products that are affordable, products that you yourself can easily afford. Then you create a video for them. You can use Canva, you can use InVideo or any other video editing tool. Then create a document for them. You can use Google Docs to place your documents here. Here's where you're going to have multiple affiliate products. And then lastly, you can promote using Pinterest. So that's it. This is how you can easily do it, guys. Now, if you want to see more free traffic websites, check out this video right here. Otherwise, that's it. And thanks for watching. See you on the next one.